Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today we've got Penderin uh, Welsh Whiskey, which is uh, Welsh Gold, uh, and it says Or Kimru. Kim, Kim Roo, I'm guessing that's Welsh Gold in Welsh <laughs> uh, on this side there. It's 46% ABV, nice, doesn't give us an age, doesn't say about colouring, it does say non chill filtered, which is good. It, I can't imagine it having colouring. I mean, if it does have colouring on it, it's not really. I mean, it's coloured it nice, I suppose. It's a kind of goldy hue, but um, it's not really attracted me to it in the sense of like a sherry one or anything. So, if it's got colouring, whatever. It comes in a box, a kind of open uh, window box. I've thrown away that. The glass is particularly fancy. Um, all edged cut and everything. It's got like wings on the side here and what else? It was £18 from Tesco, from a local supermarket. So quite cheap, even though it came in a box, even though it came with uh, its fancy uh, outerwear, its fancy aesthetics. Uh, but yeah, I got, I was told that this was a whiskey to try, a whiskey to review because it was supposedly quite good. And £18, I couldn't really refuse. So we'll get down to it and we'll decide uh, if it's a, a whiskey win or a whiskey bin. Now, there's a weird smell here. I don't know if I said it's Madeira cask finish. So it doesn't have an age, it doesn't state uh, how long it's been in the Madeira or anything like that. Yeah, there's, there's a... a I'm sure Madeira is like a wine, there is a winey element here. It's not the greatest of noses, I'm not going to lie. It's quite young, quite nippy, uh, a little fresh, a little too fresh. Green, green. <laughs> Yeah, orchard fruits, uh, green apples, green pears, yeah, it's, it's green, it's fresh, it's young. It's warming, a little warming to me, <laughs> the more I sniff it, uh, the more I take it in, it's, it's warming, sorry, I'm just keeping an eye outside because it's blowing a ghoulie, it is uh, windy and uh, things are blowing about. Just stay inside and enjoy whiskey. Uh, there's a, a sweet, cakey smell, a sweet sponge cake, a Victoria sponge or something. There's a little bit of a paint smell, which isn't too appetising. I mean, I've had a fair bit out of it, uh, it's not halfway down. But I, I don't think, I haven't really felt it change uh, from start to where I am. It might change it halfway down, we, we never know. Yeah, a little sweet, a little fruity, a little young and paint. <laughs> so that's how I would summarise with this uh, Penderin. The palette. Hmm. There's a... Smoked element there for sure. Um, yeah, a wood stove, a, a, a burning stove, maybe even coals, maybe even yeah, more charcoal rather than wood. Try to be specific. Uh, so yeah, charcoal, charcoal burning. There's still that slight paint uh, taste. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Uh, the texture's lovely. The, I think the, the non-chill filtering's helped in that. Lovely coating of the mouth. But a little uh, spirity for my liking. Uh, and not a nice, necessarily nice spirit. It's not necessarily uh, like a spirit driven in the sense that you're getting a lot of flavours. It's just quite domineering, quite dominating of spirit. There's toast with... It's like lemon curd or lemon marmalade. I don't know if marmalade's specifically or exclusively orange. 
but it's like lemon marmalade or lemon curd. So kind of toast with uh, that spread on it. Uh, a, a real citrus element. Not so much uh, orchard fruits anymore, not so much apple or pear, but now more citrus. Uh, a little sour, a little tangy. I'm still feeling like I'm getting this kind of spirit, painty, fumy alcohol <laughs> taste in my mouth. Uh, I'm going to actually put a little bit of water in it. I've, I've tried to make this a habit of uh, having a glass of water with me. So we'll see if this one, I don't think it's going to take much, it's only 46%, but we'll see what the... Oh. <laughs> Ooh. That's went musky. Yeah, really musky. Dunnage almost. A little, uh, yeah, a little foosty, musky, dunnage, dusty, old, uh, old leather books. Or like a, I'm actually going to steal this because it goes along with the musky element. One of the boys at work uh, <laughs> had a cup of coffee and we've got these new cups. I think they're biodegradable and he says it smells like a, a charity shop jigsaw puzzle. And this is all I can imagine smelling this now that I've got this fusty, musky element. So hopefully that's a descriptive power that paints an image in your head, uh, charity shop jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> oh, it's became a lot sweeter. It's now like a lemon drizzle or lemon sponge cake. Not as lemony though on the nose, but more of the, the cake element, nice and sweet cakey, but a little touch of lemon. Uh, I'm just gonna try a little bit of the palette and I might add a bit more water. The palette's much less the same, unfortunately. I was hoping that this was gonna be a complete uh, change of direction, a complete U-turn, but the, uh, yeah, the palette's still the same. The nose, the nose has definitely benefited from that that addition of that that water. There's not much change now. It's uh, I think that's as far as I've got with it. As much evolution out of it as possible. Maybe something green tea, or maybe just tea. Not green tea. There's yeah. There's like a tea element now. So a nice nose uh, with the water. Without the water, a little little harsh. Um, with the water. A lot better. Palette's just been drowned. Too much water. I think even the uh, the first teaspoon helped it a little. Although saying that, no, that's more the finish. The finish, uh, there's a this 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 feels disjointed now because I've added water. And the finish is a uh, finish is. I'll give it medium. I think it's medium. I don't think it's short. It is there. It's quite creamy in the finish. There's uh, creme fraiche for sure on the finish. There's a little bit of those apples coming through, uh, like the skin of the apple rather than the, the, the body, or the, more the flesh, the skin. Uh, sometimes apple, flesh or skin, whatever you want, can be a little bitter. And there is, it's, 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 like, uh, it's like you've chopped off the, the skin of the apple and you're just eating that all in your mouth, giving you a kind of bitter, little sweet taste in your mouth. And that's all I think I'm going to get, uh, and that's all, yeah, that's, that's probably all there is there. It's not bad, really nice with the, the additional water on the nose, the palate's a little lacking, the finish is alright, uh, nothing really to complain about at £18. So we'll get down to my three factors of rating the whiskey. Would I buy it again? That's, that's a no, that's easy, uh, it's, it's alright, it's... It, <laughs> I wouldn't buy it again when there's so much other Scottish whiskey. I'm not saying because it's Welsh it's bad. Uh, I, I love all my Welsh bros, my Welsh brothers, <laughs> uh, my Celtic brothers. It's just, or Celtic sisters because I'm pretty sure Penderin's uh, run by women. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a little soft, a little, a little lacking for me. Uh, and maybe someone with a more refined, defined palate can pick up 
more interesting things than I can. Uh, but not for me. Would I recommend it? I think so. I think it's worth a try. It's uh, it's a little different. It's it's Welsh whiskey, so it's different from Scottish. Uh, and it's, it's yeah, it's worth a try. The, the Madeira. I'm not sure if I got much Madeira. Maybe a little bit of the wine to start with. Uh, but I'm not sure if I got that influence as much as I would have liked. Uh, but yeah, it's it's all right. So I reckon you should try it. Do I think it's worth it? Now I believe the RRP is twenty five to thirty pound. I got this up on sale at eighteen pound. Do I think it's worth eighteen pound? I think it'd be pretty harsh <laughs> to say this is not worth eighteen pound. Uh, eighteen pound is not a lot of money for a, a single malt Welsh whiskey that's unchill filtered. Uh, and produced at 46% with a nice wine finish. So I think it'd be unfair to say it's not worth £18. But it's probably not worth the RRP. Say that's £30, I'm not buying it at £30. No chance, not at all. Uh, £18 fine. So for me, it's a whiskey bin. Uh, whiskey bin. Uh, it's just not all there. It could be more, I feel. It'd be interesting to see, I was going to say it'd be interesting to see it at cash strength, but there's no point because it's unchill filtered, it's 46%, you're still getting a lot of ABV. It just doesn't feel like it's performing. Uh, it just feels like something's missing, and I'm not sure what that'd be, if it'd be a higher ABV, uh, a longer finish, longer maturation, I'm not sure. It just doesn't seem finished, if that makes sense. It doesn't seem complete. It's the only way I could describe this, it's an incomplete whiskey. It's almost there and it's fine, it's, it's nice enough, but who am I to uh, tell distillers and blenders that their whiskey is not complete? Um, then again, they're probably pushing out stock to get money, which is fine. Uh, so that's my take on it and little ramble over. Uh, thanks for watching, I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Whims, I'll see you later.